How's it going guys? Ish Patel here with the second video in my VR gear series and today I'll be reviewing the Samsung Gear VR powered by Oculus. The Gear VR definitely made heads turn when it was first announced and now has become one of the top selling mobile VR headsets. Let's see if this one is worth shelling out $100 for. In terms of build quality, the Gear VR is constructed from hard plastic all around including the knobs, buttons, and the touchpad. This helps keep the overall design sturdy yet lightweight. The head strap is made from Velcro and cloth, and the padding that rests against the face is extremely comfortable. Up front we have the plastic cover which contains the product branding. Once we remove that, we can see inside of the headset. We have the connector off to the left along with four rubber pads around the viewing area to protect your phone. We also have a flap on the right that needs to be angled up while putting the phone inside to secure it properly. The inside actually looks pretty cool and you can see we have the two lenses showing through. That's pretty much it for the front and the inside. Off to the right side we have a touchpad built directly onto the headset to allow interaction with the apps and VR software used by Samsung. Up top we have a back button and out towards the front we have the volume up and down rockers. On the bottom we have a USB cable to power the headset in case your phone is running low on juice. We also have the nose resting area towards the bottom. On the back, right above the nose, we have an ambient light and proximity sensors to help the software conserve power if the headset is not in use. Up top, we have a slider that allows you to adjust the depth of the phone to help customize the depth towards the focal point of different users. That's all for the overall build and design of the headset. What makes the Gear VR different from other mobile headsets out there is that it's powered by Oculus, and Samsung even has an exclusive app for that. The Oculus app is what differentiates the Gear VR from the other headsets out there. The Oculus Store contains numerous applications and games designed to work especially with the Gear VR, and the quality of these apps is definitely unmatched when compared to what the Google Play Store has to offer. Oculus even includes a game bundle free of charge to turbo boost your VR experience. Let's just take a quick look at a sample game which, as you can see, looks absolutely stunning in terms of graphical fidelity. Inserting your phone into the Gear VR is quite simple. First, take off the front hatch and put it off to the side. Once the cover is off, slide the phone in with the USB connector into the left side of the headset and secure your phone in place using the second hatch on the right side of the headset. After the phone is in securely, attach the cover back on just to be safe. After sliding the cover on, adjust the depth of the focal point and you should be good to go to experience some VR. Using the headset was an absolute blast. The content that Samsung and Oculus provide are quite superior to that of anything on the Google Play Store, and I was completely blown away by the experience as a whole. The headset was extremely comfortable, even during long-term use, and the phone did a great job of keeping cool throughout extended use periods as well. Now, a major downside for some may be that this headset is proprietary and that it requires a Samsung Galaxy S6 or newer Samsung device to work. Since I prefer Samsung devices despite their UI overlaid on top of stock Android, for me, it's just an extra plus. But to those who don't like Samsung smartphones, this headset isn't for you. Overall, the Gear VR is hands down the best mobile VR headset I have used to date and would definitely recommend it out there to anyone with a Galaxy S6 and newer looking for the best possible mobile experience out there. The $100 price tag is definitely not cheap, but personally, I found it worth every single penny based off the satisfaction and entertainment I got out of it. That's all for this one, guys. To stay updated with the channel, be sure to subscribe and follow me on the social platforms listed in the description down below. I'm currently on spring break, so expect a handful of videos to be out this week. I'm Ish Patel. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.